Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, January 7, 2024. I pray that today we will experience the goodness of God as we depend on Him. Our reading today comes to us from 2 Peter 3, reading verses 3 to 10. It says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts. Verse 4, And saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. <laughs> Verse 5 For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Verse 6 it says, Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perish. In verse 7 But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men verse 8 it says but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day 9 it says the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us ward not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance 10 and last says but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up and i say amen we give god thanks this morning for his words reminding us one more time that is coming is sure and is even at the door we live in a world where people scoff at the idea of worshiping God and scoff at the idea that God is returning again. They mock those who try to serve the Lord and those who are serving the Lord to the best of their abilities. They are ridiculed. They are scorned. And they are mock but as I tell you before as sure as night is today that one day God is going to return and so let us not take it for granted that because it seems like things are just continuing as it has always been mean that God won't come again because that is just not true and if we believe the word of God and if we believe the promises that are in the word of God then we have no doubt in our mind that everything will come to pass one of these days no, the question is not whether God will come. The question is, will I be ready? Will you be ready when he comes? Because the Bible says in Revelation that whatever state that we are found in when Jesus appear or when he makes that final pronunciation, that's the state that we will stay in 
and so whatever judgment will be visited on us that will be our reward and so friends i pray and i'm asking you not to take these things for granted the bible says that he will come as a thief in the night he has given us enough warning and so when he comes he says the sky will roll back the sky will melt so he's not coming in any silence as some may believe that oh he's gonna come in some secret rapture no that goes against everything that the scripture teaches god is not coming in any secret rapture so my apologies to those who believe that that will be the case and so let us be ready let us not be ignorant friends let us not take it for granted we are alive we are in our right state of mind some of us we might we don't know how long we're gonna live so for those of us who think that oh i have a little more time oh i don't have to do it today i need to get this done and that done first that's a grave mistake because tomorrow is not promised to you or me the next minute is not promised to us what we have is now and that is what we have to make or take advantage of and so friends let us not wait and draw out this thing any longer if you need to make a decision for god you need to do it now because the time is going to come when you can't do so and you don't know when that time will be you look at everything that is happening around you it is chaotic destruction everywhere when you step out your house in the morning or whenever time you are you have no guarantee that you will come back home there's no guarantee when you go to your bed at night that you will wake up in the morning we have no guarantee and so that is why it is important for us to put our life in the hand of jesus who is able to preserve it and even in death we know that we will be okay once we die in christ because to us death will be just asleep he says in that great great enough morning we will rise to newness of life and so may we be encouraged may we be blessed may we continue to work and to look forward to that day and to encourage others to do the same as we continue to press on in jesus name god bless you